we are going to show you how to use the public library, what it means and how to get started in the simplest way. Let's jump right to it. The public library is where traders and investors from around the globe code and create their own custom strategies and indicators. Your Pine editor is down here. Click this and you can begin coding an indicator of your choice or trading strategy. And then of course you can also test that strategy at the strategy tester. So that's what the public library is. It is where people from around the world, doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have an internet connection and can code, can create their own indicator or strategy. And you saw what we did there. We go up to the top of the chart, we click indicators and strategies, we go down and we click public library, and we can see all of the Pine scripts that have been created by coders from around the globe. And as we scroll down, we see their name, we see the username, we see the amount of likes. Let's go back to the top, 70,000 likes on this particular script. We can click this button to see the source code or this one to read more. So let's actually do that. Let's click source code. And now we can see the source code. This is the code this user, Lazy Bear, has you know used to create their indicator. And now why don't we add this indicator to our chart, squeeze the momentum indicator. So see this indicator here at the bottom? This is the Lazy Bear Squeeze Momentum Indicator. We click slash, public library. Now let's open the code. Now we can read the code that's behind, let's just change this layout a little, that's behind this indicator, how it's being calculated, what his thinking is, how he's visualizing it. It's here in the Pine Editor. He was kind enough to make this an open source script. Some scripts are not open source. We'll get into that in a bit. So let's open up the public library again. So as you can see, number of likes, author, script name, and then this is really important. This is the read more button. So why don't we go to this particular script? This is called MACD custom indicator multiple time frame by Chris Moody, 52,000 likes. We can read the source code. We can also click read more and watch what happens. Now this opens up, it shows, this shows the script. This is how it looks. These, these uh, comments are trying to explain what it is. You can see it down here at the bottom of the chart. You see it's by Chris Moody. We can follow him, message him, send him some coins. We can see how many, uh, you know, we can read more about how many followers he has, ideas he's published. Here's his profile picture. If we scroll down, well, we can click likes ourselves. There's a, there's a, you know, small little uh, bio or description about his indicator. And actually for this particular indicator, why don't we find an indicator maybe with a more in-depth description? So this one's called Fibonacci Bollinger Bands by Rashad. So let's click read more. And we see Rashad published in June 2016. We scroll down, he wrote a little bit more. These Bollinger Bands, okay, feature Fibonacci retracements to very clearly show areas of support and resistance. We can click this, by the way, so this is the indicator you know, description page, we can add it to our favorites. So it's been added to our favorites. Let's click the X now. And if we go to our favorites, we should see it. There it is, Fibonacci Bollinger Bands. So let's add it. And maybe because this is a ratio chart, we're actually doing Apple divided by the US dollar. So let's actually, let's change this and let's just go to Apple. And let's now exit this for now. So we see this. Fibonacci Bollinger Bands indicator coded by a user shared to the world open source we see it here in the pine editor and it's all right here for us to use to make better decisions to research markets to network with others we could reach out to this pine coder and let them know thank you so much for creating this script or can you help me create one of my own and that is how the public library operates. That's the basic of it. So open your indicators and strategies. Remember, once again, up here at the top, public library, and then dive right in. And why don't we do another example of this one? Let's see here. We'll just keep scrolling down looking for something interesting. And you can do this. You can scroll through this entire public library and just have fun researching 
learning more about indicators, how they're coded, meeting the people behind these coded indicators, and just finding inspiration for your trading and investing strategy. Why don't we add Super Trend by Evergret, Everget? And before we do that, we'll click Read More. So here's Everget, published March 6, 2019. This looks, you know, this looks pretty self explanatory buy, sell, buy, sell. And he's got some, he's got a nice description here with some release notes. So some authors will update their script over time. We'll add this to our favorites as well. And you can follow their release notes about each update. And that makes it particularly helpful if this one was released in 2000, in 2019, but Everget most recently updated it in February. And we can see that. So we know he's taking, like, he's taking very good care of this script. And of course there's comments at the bottom. Let's scroll down. Here's our comments. And you can read what other users are saying about this script. And you can even follow along and see what Everget is saying about the script or how he's responded to users to help them out. So let's keep this going. And why don't we do one more example? And we will just continue to show you how to use the public library because it's just so important that you figure out how to use this. It is a really valuable feature on TradingView, and here's one reason why. These indicators and strategies you may not be able to find anywhere else on the web or in the trading world. These are coded by traders and investors just like you, and they are right here to, you know, given to the trading and investing community. And it's extremely generous of these coders to be doing this. And that's why it's also important that you, you know, get into this public library and support some of these people, you know, tell them thank you, use their indicators, and just see how it can help your approach. So why don't we add, uh, let's add another script one more time. We're just going to keep going down. Which one looks interesting? How about optimize trend tracker? So we'll click, let's add it to the chart. And this looks like a really nicely coded script. And you can see the different color trends. If we go up here to our settings, we can see what they've coded into the settings of the script. Once again, we can open up the Pine Editor to see what some of the code is. And then lastly, if we want to, we can open up our public library and we can add multiple scripts to our chart. It doesn't just have to be one at a time. We could, for example, add, why don't we add this slow stochastic. And now what we have is two charts coded by two different pine coders shown to us. And the point is now we can just make better decisions about markets. We're using indicators that potentially no one else is using. More importantly, we're using two indicators from the public library that may not exist anywhere else. And the chances that someone else out there is using these two indicators at this exact same time are really low. And you can find an edge or some sort of a educational component, or maybe you're just interested in the science and coding behind this, and you can follow along and get more involved. So we're going to exit this. We're going to exit these uh, public library indicators. And we're going to dive into one more important thing about the public library using this search box. So let's say you specifically want to find an indicator for volatility. In the search box, you type in volatility. You see the scripts that you've created. You see the built-ins. Remember, these are the built-ins from the TradingView team. The TradingView team has built these into the platform. These are specifically from the TradingView team. They are embedded right into the platform they are for you to use. So something as simple as moving average. So let's type in volatility again. So we see the scripts we've coded, the built-ins from the team. This is where the public library is awesome. Check this out. These are all of the volatility scripts coded by other traders and investors. Now you can dive in and find things that are unique to your needs. You can search a keyword, search a keyword, and then get into the public library and test some of this out. And that is where you can really use the public library to your advantage or to your specific needs. In this case, we typed in volatility and we see here that TradingView has actually coded in a volatility stop. So let's click volatility stop. 
it's been added to our chart. We have this now volatility stop added to our chart. We can see it very clearly. Once again, open the Pine Editor to see what the code is behind it. And we can now go back here, volatility. Here's our volatility stop. And then we can click read more because we really want to make sure that this particular indicator fits our needs. Trading view, publish date, we see the name. And we can read these really detailed notes about what the volatility stop means. This is a new version of the classic volatility stop originally published in 2014 by admin, admin and written in Pine V1. While the code has evolved, its logic is identical. And so you can sort of read about all of these different, uh, you know, what this volatility stop really means, see examples, add it to your favorites. Here's the code, scroll down. And of course, you can see all of the comments and suggestions. And that is the basics of the public library. So to quickly recap, open your indicators and strategies, go to public library, search for a key term of your choice. You could type in moving average, and you could use one of the built-in moving averages, which is awesome and works for a lot of people to smooth out price. But you could also scroll down and into the public library, find something really unique specifically for your needs. You can meet different coders just by clicking on their username. When we click, it takes us right to their profile so we can now follow them, message them, send them TradingView coins. The other thing is we can read their code, the code behind the script, and also read more about it. So that is how you can access the public library. Open your indicators menu. By the way, we love pressing slash on our keyboard. Watch this. It just opens up the indicators and strategies. Go to public library, have some fun. You can scroll down, do as you please. This is called 72's adaptive whole moving average. Let's just add it. Let's just see what this shows. And let's hide the volatility stop. This looks pretty cool. And now we can dive in. We can double click on it just as we would any other indicator. See all of the inputs behind it, the style, and it's all available to you in the public library. Now we're just going to end on one final note. Make sure that you take away three things from this video. One, the coders in the public library are giving a lot of this, uh, a lot of this uh, information away for free. Now it's important then that we thank them. We, you know, we send them kind messages. We let them know we appreciate their hard work. We can follow them to just, to, you know, be a part of their community. And that is, um, that's, that's an important aspect of this because it is not easy to code indicators. It does take a skill to understand the logic behind coding an indicator. So you can click favorites to let, you know, just to let them know you're liking it and you're a trying to be a part of what they're creating. You can send them direct messages and follow them. So that's one really important takeaway, public library. The next important takeaway is this Pine Editor at the bottom of your chart. You can code your own indicator or strategy yourself. It starts in the Pine Editor. It's right here, Pine Editor. Dive right in and start coding. You can create your own indicator or strategy. If you're a rookie at code, if you're just a beginner, that's totally fine and normal. Either A, get started by uh, just typing in the most basic level code you can think of or that you can find on the web or if just as an inspiration. Or secondly, you can reach out to some people in the public library. You could potentially send a few messages, say, hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate your work. I'd love to get your help. Or maybe some of them will, will do it for free or you know maybe they want to partner up on something. That's perfectly fine. This is a community where everyone's working together to code and beat the markets as well as just share and, and meet each other. All very important components. The last takeaway from this video that we want you to remember is when you open your indicators and strategies menu, use the search box to expand your horizons for indicators and strategies. For example, we showed you the volatility example. Say you want to find a way to measure volatility. Type into the search. Now, there are always going to be built-ins that the team at TradingView has built for you, specifically hard-coded into the platform, built-ins. But you can really expand your trading or investing style by scrolling down 
and entering the public library. You can now find these types of scripts coded by others that you may have missed, specifically if you want to learn something new. A great example is we could type in funda fundamentals. Fundamentals meaning let's figure out what the fundamentals are of a company, the basics. And you can start to see that there's all these fundamentals or these scripts with fundamentals in the name. And you can dive right in. There's also, you know, value for those who are value investors. Let's see. Let's just type in value. And you can start to maybe find some value investing scripts that actually might use fundamentals like free cash flow or revenue. The point is type in a keyword of your choice related to market, say dip, because we're looking for something for buying the dip. And look at this, dip buyer use the search box to uncover scripts that have been coded by others and we really appreciate you watching this video and just remember one big takeaway thank you to all of the coders out there let's keep this going and please reach out to them say thank you uh, press favorite like follow let them know you appreciate their hard work and thanks for watching this video if you have any questions or comments please reach out below our team watches the comments in all of these videos and remember your pine editor is right here at the bottom of the chart dive right in thank you for watching